Hey all you witches and wizards, Mr. Muggle Teacher here. Welcome back for another video. Today we are going to be doing an in-depth review of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the Hogwarts House editions for the 20th anniversary. Make sure that you're not late because class starts now. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you didn't subscribe yet, consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure that you get updates whenever I post new content. As I had said, today we are going to be doing an in-depth review of the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Hogwarts House Editions for the 20th anniversary from Bloomsbury Publishing. I did a full unboxing of all of these books in a previous video, so if you haven't checked that out yet, be sure to check that out. I'll link that in the description below. For the Hogwarts House Editions, I do happen to have all four houses for each book. First, we're going to be going through the hardback copies, which I have right here. As you can probably tell, the hardback copies for the Philosopher's Stone have a black dust jacket with lettering that corresponds with the house colors of each house. We have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. One of my favorite features of these books actually happens to be the text block. The text block, as you can probably see here, all of them have unique striping that meets all of the house colors from the four different Hogwarts houses. I would definitely say that that's probably one of the most unique things that I've seen in a set of Harry Potter books. With that being said, we're going to jump into a brief review of the hardcover house editions. The first one that we have is the Gryffindor edition. Now, one of the really unique things about the Hogwarts House editions, each book has specific new information at both the beginning and the end of each of the books, which happens to be about the founder of the house and just kind of gives a little bit of perspective from that house's perspective. So for Gryffindor, in the very beginning of the book, we have a portrait of Godric Gryffindor with a excerpt just kind of welcoming the reader and giving an introduction to the Gryffindor house. If we go to the back of the book, there's a featured character in each one of the books for the Philosopher's Stone for Gryffindor. It happens to be Minerva McGonagall, as we all know, is the head of Gryffindor House. So they give a little bit of detail and just more information in these books than we had in the original series. Moving right along to the Slytherin edition, as you can probably guess, in the beginning of the Slytherin edition, there is a portrait of Salazar Slytherin, as well as a welcome and just a little bit of background for the Slytherin house. If we flip to the back of the book, the featured character for Philosopher's Stone is Severus Snape. Moving right along to our Ravenclaw edition, the Ravenclaw edition in the beginning, as you can probably guess, does have a portrait of Rowena Ravenclaw, as well as an introduction and a little bit more background for Ravenclaw House. Now in the back of the Ravenclaw edition, we have a portrait of Phileas Flitwick, as we all know is the head of Ravenclaw House, and we have some additional information about Professor Flitwick. And last but certainly not least, we have the Hufflepuff edition, Philosopher's Stone, which as you can probably already guess, in the beginning of the book we're going to have that beautiful portrait of Helga Hufflepuff, as well as additional information, a welcome to the book about Hufflepuff House. And in the very back of the book, we have the featured character, none other than head of Hufflepuff House, Pomona Sprout. So. That's a little bit of the additional information inside of the books. Now I want to talk about some of the really unique things on the outside of the books. On the front of each book, we have this really, really beautifully drawn crest 
All of the cover artwork in these books is done by Levi Pinfold. And one really cool thing, all of the house editions have a unique cover, whereas if you look at them next to each other really, really quickly, it all kind of looks like the same type of crest. But if you look really, really closely, we can see the badger on the Hufflepuff edition, the snake on the Slytherin edition, the eagle on the Ravenclaw edition, and the lion on the Gryffindor edition. In addition to the specific crest, the elements that are surrounding each of the crests are unique to each of the books. So be sure to check those out because there's a lot of beautiful detail that goes into each one of these that I'm definitely glad that I've taken the time to appreciate and not overlook. As we finish up the front cover of each book, you'll notice that at the bottom, underneath the crest, there are the traits of each of the specific houses, which is also a very unique thing to this specific set of books. On the back of each book, we have the Hogwarts house ghost for each of the four houses. So for Hufflepuff, we have the Fat Friar. For Slytherin, we have the Bloody Baron. For Ravenclaw, we have the Grey Lady, which we all know who that is. If you're not sure who it is, go back and read the books again. And for Gryffindor House, we have Sir Nicholas, aka Nearly Headless Nick. Now, I already showed you the hardcover editions for the 20th Anniversary Philosopher's Stone House editions, but the ones that really, really kind of caught my eye when looking at these online actually happened to be the softcover editions. Now look at how beautiful and vibrant all of the colors are for those. Now, the cover artwork on each of these is identical to that of their hardcover counterparts. For example, if we take both of the Philosopher's Stone Gryffindor editions, we have the same artwork, the same crest, the same surrounding elements, it's just our soft cover is that vibrant red, and our hard cover is black with the vibrant red accents and text. One other thing that I feel is really important to mention, on the paperback versions, this seems to be a really, really high quality paperback book. Um, it just kind of has this like smooth, almost like velvety texture on it. It's just... and. The artwork and the raised text and everything, it just, it really kind of pops and stands out, even more so in person than it does through a screen. One last thing that I want to mention about these Philosopher's Stone House editions, on the back of the paperback books, it has this really kind of interesting quote or fun quote from The Sorting Hat. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. There's obviously a unique quote to each specific house. That one just happens to be the Hufflepuff one because I am indeed a Hufflepuff. As we wrap up the review of these 20th Anniversary Hogwarts House editions of the Philosopher's Stone, I do want to point out that if you happen to purchase all of the books, which up to this point we have books one through four, the fifth book is coming out very soon. As you display the books, we have this really cool striped pattern. Regardless of if you have the soft cover or the hard cover, we have this alternating colors from year to year. On top, this is our Slytherin Prisoner of Azkaban. In the middle is our Slytherin Chamber of Secrets. And then on the bottom is our Slytherin Philosopher's Stone. I hope you had fun following along for these 20th anniversary Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Hogwarts House Editions.
If you want to purchase your own copy, I will post links to each book in the description below. In the coming weeks, I will be doing full in-depth reviews of Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire, and eventually when Order of the Phoenix comes out. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you liked it, share it with a friend, and also be sure to check me out on all of my other social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Mr. Muggle Teacher. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in next class.